Okay, we are here with Sharice, who I was with last work party on Monday, and she was saying that she had to switch to light coffee or medium roast coffee because the other was too acidic. Mm -hmm. And so that set me off, and I thought, why don't we do, I mean, it, you know, it took a while to get there, but why don't we do another PSA? This one, the last one was called, What is Fear? This one will be, What is Fun? Right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good change. <laughs> <laughs> what is fun? So, and, and it starts with me when I was like in my 20s. I, I drank at least 10 cups of coffee a day. Mm -hmm. okay. I did too. Did you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, of course. We're both extremists. Yeah. Right? yeah. We're both Sagittarians. Right. Anyway, so then, um, you know, I gradually moderate, moderated a little bit. And then I discovered uh, probably 10 years ago this, which is coffee with, and you might think about this, but of course what I'm doing is much better, but it's, it's organic coffee with, um, uh, it's immune supporting mushrooms. With mushrooms, yeah. Yeah, yeah you did turn me on to that okay. a couple years back, and I did do that for a while. Okay, because so. it's just, there's, it, you feel like it's life-giving besides draining. <laughs> it's both draining and life-giving. Yeah. Okay, so then the same intuitive healer that you go to, Dorothy, told me that I am allergic to the coffee bean, okay, mm. which was, oh no, oh, so wow. I said, okay. okay, so I guess I got to switch to tea, okay, but what's a tea? Boring, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make my own chai, and that's just kind of helped, it just happened over, over like a day, I decided, okay, I'm going to make Anne's chai elixir, okay, right. Anne's chai elixir, and when you change even one ingredient, it will be Teresa's child. Okay. <laughs> There's the fun part. <laughs> yeah, that's the fun part. Okay, so now I'm going to bring, I'll say what I do each day. Actually, I've made it more efficient now. Now I make it for three days at a time rather than every single day because it takes five minutes. Okay, you have to twist and untwist and it's okay. pain in the butt, but it's, it's fun. It's like a ritual. Yeah. And yet I decided if I make it every three days, it's easier on me. So today what I'm going to do, though, is make one for me and one for each of you. Okay. okay. So now I go get it, and I put it in a basket, which I thought was a brilliant move because it's easy to see everything. Ooh. See this? Isn't it pretty? That's nice. nice. Yeah. It's like a Christmas it's basket. See? It is. It's like a Christmas basket. Okay. So. So, and I'll tell you, one pot makes at least four huge, sometimes five huge mugs. Okay. Okay, one pot, you keep adding water. Okay. And so it's, it takes care of you all day. The pot. Okay, so let's start with the, with the black tea. In other words, definitely I need my caffeine. There's no question about it. <laughs> okay. So I do. So, and each time it's a pinch of some sort. So, big pinch for caffeine, right? One, so one. this is your rituals to put it in bags? Yeah, uh, well, when I'm making it for more than one day. Oh, I see. So you're making a bag for each of all you. three of us. Yes. Okay, I got it. And the thing is, the, the, the problem with this is you've got a whole bunch of bags. So I save my bags, and I take them back to the store mm -hmm. so I don't get new bags, right? That yeah. way I yeah. keep using the same bags. Okay. And so each day, it's different because each day the pinches are different, right? You're not going to have the same pinch every day for everything. <laughs> Of course not. So, okay, so we have the black tea. Elderberry, is there a thing on elderberry? I did, a, I did do a blog post on this, um, and I noted every single thing that was there. Yeah, elderberry. Read what elderberry gives you. The berries and leaves have traditionally been used to treat pain, swelling, infections, coughs, skin conditions, and more recently, flu, common cold, fevers, constipation, and sinus infections. Not bad, huh? Yeah. And we have a giant elderberry bush that we call the Queen Mother yeah. in front of our second house in this lovely little village we have. What's it called, Anne? Huh? Coconut. Green Acres Permaculture Village. Oh, Green Acres Permaculture Village. Okay. <laughs> coconut. Read coconut. Can you find it? Oh, read it? Okay. Yeah. Um... Coconut flakes, besides being a healthy fat, contains essential minerals including manganese and selenium. Both minerals activate enzymes including antioxidants and 
that your cells need for protection from the damage caused by free radicals. Manganese also promotes healthy nerve function and helps your body produce sex hormones, mm -hmm. while selenium supports the function <laughs> of your thyroid. Okay, and now cinnamon. What does cinnamon say? Cinnamon says, I know it regulates blood sugar. I know it's warming too. Oh. What does cinnamon say? Oh, oh lordy. Okay. Cinnamon is not on here, but I know that it majorly um, regulates your blood sugar. Okay. okay. That's the main thing I know it for. Okay. And there's probably other things. I, I put just... it in my coffee every morning for that reason. Oh, you I do. Too. Okay. I don't. Okay. So this is um, cardamom. Cardamom seeds. Okay. Cardamom is right here. And antispasmodic, which makes it handy for any type of stomach cramps caused by indigestion or IBS. Like its close relative ginger, cardamom is as well known for relief of nausea, especially morning sickness and pregnancy. Cardamom strengthens digestive and kills the digestion and kills the bacteria responsible for bad breath, making it an excellent after dinner tea. Cardamom also can help clear congestion from colds, flu, and allergies. Second only to lemon, cardamom is perhaps the best source of a phytochemical called cynical, which calms your nerves and clears your head. God, I should do twice as much. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this yeah. is um, hawthorn. I know that's good for your heart. I don't know what else. And I do lots of different kinds of berries. Right now I happen to have elderberry, hawthorn, and that's it. Fruit Sometimes I have goji and, you know, other stuff. But anyway, berries are great. Okay, go ahead. Uh, fruit is used for centuries for heart disease. Other uses include digestive and kidney related problems. Okay, so I just get this stuff at the at our local co-op, Blooming Foods, at their bulk food section. I just went in there and I thought, well, what would be good in my chai tea elixir? Right? And I would say, and by the way, I'm also going to add two other things that aren't on the, that aren't in here because I keep them refrigerated. One is Turmeric and the other is ginger. Not fresh. Much. Fresh, yeah. And the uh, turmeric needs pepper to really fully activate. Oh. Pepper is very expensive, however. Yeah, it is. But it's so good. I don't know if it's always been everything. expensive. Has it always been expensive? Uh, I don't know, I think but it I was just blowing it away. And this whole thing, I would say, to do it the way I do it, I think I'm estimating, I think it costs about $35 every six weeks. Nothing. When you think of what people use for supplements. Or, or drink coffee. Or drink coffee, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, we don't need this because we've already got cinnamon in its chip form. Okay, so um, licorice. Now, I originally did licorice just because it's sweet and I don't have to use honey that way, but read licorice. It is enormously beneficial. Um... Long been used in Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine to aid digestion and liver function, relieves arthritis pain, and regulates menstruation. Relieves congestion of mucous membranes. Wow, yeah, cool. Coriander. Is that in there? Coriander seeds. Properties can help reduce joint swelling in rheumatoid arthritis. In Ayurvedic medicine, coriander is considered tritoshic, good for all body types, which is what tritoshic must mean. Yeah. Fresh cilantro leaves have similar but weaker properties. When the herb is added to the diet along with other natural immune system boosters like garlic and omega-3 fatty acids, chronic infections can, can be eliminated. Yes. Wow. Okay. Now this one, at first, I used a whole star oh, anise. They're so beautiful. And then I thought, oh, that's too much. And so then I cut it down. But just kind of experiment with how much you put in. I'm going to put, for each of us, I'll put two this time. Two little rays of the star. It's very strong. Okay. I use one or two rays of the single star. Yeah. The major source of the chemical compound chemic acid, a primary precursor in the pharmaceutical synthesis of anti-influenza drug. I don't know if I can say that. It's some kind of 
influenza, what is that? I don't know, Ocelamuber. Tamiflu. <laughs> Tamiflu. Oh, yeah. okay. So they use this for Tamiflu in that. Okay. Got it? Yep. Okay, this is a very traditional for chai, which is cloves. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of these are, but not all of them. Cloves, what does cloves say? Cloves. Used for upset stomach and an expectorant, among other purposes. What is expectorant? I can't remember. It gets mm -hmm. rid of phlegm. Mm -hmm. Mucus. Of phlegm. Oh, what? Phlegm. Okay. Uh, the oil is used topically for great, uh, to treat toothache. Okay. This one I can't. Most people probably know that. All right, fennel. I obviously don't have much fennel here. So, you know, things run out at different rates. But I have some more somewhere. We'll need to edit. <laughs> no, you don't need to edit. I mean, well, yeah, you probably need to edit. But let's see. Is there fennel up here? If not, I'll just use all this fennel. On. Oh, here. Here's some fennel. Yeah, fennel have. seeds, a member of the parsley fam family. Fennel has long been used to treat dyspepsia, flatulence, and nausea. Clinical studies have shown that fennel helps reduce colic in babies and menstruation pain in women. You can chew on some fennel seeds or sip some fennel tea to help relieve stomach and menstrual discomfort. Okay. A lot of this is good for menstruation. A lot of it's good for stomach, I noticed. Yeah. In general. Digestion. Okay, so that's fennel. Yeah, things run out at different speeds, so I just take I take that bag back to the place and get more. And sometimes experiment and get other stuff. So when I was doing it just one bag at a time, it took like five minutes. I, I, uh... <laughs> You know, I timed it. So did you put the black tea to begin with? Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Okay, yeah. Gotta have the caffeine. Um, hey, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to go get with what I keep in the fridge, which is the fresh garlic, or fresh um, gar ginger and fresh uh, turmeric. Okay, read, read turmeric. They are certainly at our co-op. So this is turmeric. I don't bother. Hey, that's enough, guys. I don't bother um, uh, skinning it. I just put it in. Well, fresh herbs are better all around. Any fresh herb is okay. better. It's more potent than dried or right. anything else. Right, you know? right, Okay, so that's turmeric. It contains curcumin, a su substance with powerful and anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Taken with black pepper helps in absorption by 2,000 cents. That's really good. Wow. Nice. pepper, yeah. So see what it looks like? Yeah. Apparently you can grow it just by... That's ginger, right? This is the turmeric still. I'm going to do one oh. for each of us, remember? Okay. And I would not do this color. until tomorrow if I were you, if you don't want to, unless you want black tea at night. I'll wait till tomorrow. It looks really good. Doesn't it? Yeah. I will never go back to just coffee. So how much water do you put with? I just um, fill up, I put it in here and I fill it up and I get two cups out of that and then I keep filling it. Yeah. And I'll yeah. tell you the second and third cup are the strongest. Okay. <laughs> and you boil it a couple minutes before you use it at all. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's it. Oh, no, wait a minute. I didn't do the ginger. So read the ginger. Ginger, of course, is for the stomach. Um, we used to ease nausea and motion sickness. Research suggests that ginger can relieve nausea caused by pregnancy or chemotherapy. Ooh, that's interesting. It's also, isn't that warming too, ginger? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. So warming's good in the winter, especially. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the one. I just put it in the hot water and sip on it. It tastes so good. Yeah, or even just chew on it. All right, any questions about the elixir besides what you just already asked. How much black tea did you put in? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> big, big pinches for each of us. Big pinches. Okay. And sometimes in the afternoon, if I need a pickup, I'll put a little tea bag in the, in the thing too. Okay. You yeah. know, just to, so like I did that today. So do you keep that in the refrigerator while you're using it? No, I just keep it on the stove. Okay. No, no. I mean the, the spices. Or do you, oh, just you put the whole bag into here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I so see. So when okay. I'm using it, I, in other words, one bag per day. Okay. Okay. And it's going to end up like this because it all expands, you know. Yeah. And then, so one bag per day, 
and um, what else to tell you about it? I don't know. It's just so nourishing. You start drinking that, and you go, wow. Mm. Yeah. You know, wow. This is the spot. How could I have ever done anything else? That's what it feels like. <laughs> This hits a good vibe spot. I love it. Yes. Let's see. Did I get enough of that in there? I'll give you a little bit more of this. So yeah, it's just like. And so then it's like. So now I do it three at three at a time. So I only have to do it every third day. So oh, okay. I don't put the, the the things that are in the fridge in it, but I put the rest of it in it. Okay. So I have these waiting for me. Say that again. You have. So some... I do them like this. You know, I'll do three at a time instead of just one oh, at a time and, and that way to put the fresh stuff in. yeah and then I, that way i don't have to do this going like this mm -hmm. 15 times per day yeah which is helpful for my age yeah okay. okay so that's where did i put this okay so we're just going to use these each of you get one thank you uh, ann thank you ann yes you're well, welcome you're welcome so next time tell me what you added and I will know what Charisse's child okay. exer looks like, feels like, tastes like. So yeah, this is from Fear to Fun, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's it. There you go. Thank you.